everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm finally filming the long-awaited, my everyday glowy makeup look. And today, of course, I'm sharing with you my Physicians Formula palette. This is a collab that I did with Physicians Formula that launched earlier this year. It is my palette with six different shades in it. We have two highlighters, two blushes, and two bronzers. And this has been my go-to ever since this product launched because it has everything that I need in one. It's just in this one very slim palette. So it's easy to travel with and you're not having to bring around all these little like tins. You can find it in Target if you're in the US or you can find it in Shoppers Drug Mart if you're in Canada. I will highly recommend definitely calling your store ahead of time to make sure they have the palette because not every single store will have it. I'm excited to show you how I get this really glowy look. This really is the star of the show. Like all the other products play into it as well, but really the palette is the reason why my skin looks glowy and healthy. So this is really the star of the show. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my tinted moisturizer. This is Beauty Counter Dew Skin and I have it in the shade number three. This is a little dark for me, so I just have this other foundation. This is from Surat Beauty, Dew Drop Foundation, but you do not need this one. I'm only putting like two drops of this in here just so that the color is a little lighter. So I take about a pump and then I'm gonna go in with Surat Beauty. I'm gonna do like two drops. But again, you really don't need this one. This is shade number five. I just like to use my hands so I kind of mix the two shades together. And as you can see, now this is the perfect olive shade for my skin. And then I just like to use my hand. You can use a brush. And I have used a brush for this before, but I find that the brush kind of just soaks it up. So I prefer to just use my fingers. And it also just makes the routine a lot faster when you're using your fingers. I don't feel the need to bring it all the way down my neck, but I do like to make sure I round it out here at the jawline so that it's even. Okay, so that's it for the tinted moisturizer. And as you can see, it still looks like my skin. It does not look heavy, it does not feel heavy, it's not oily. I just love the feel of this. It feels like I'm just wearing moisturizer. After that, I go in with some concealer. This is the Kosas. I don't know what this is called, but this is the only concealer they have, I believe. And this one does have kind of like a dewy finish. I have the shade 5.5. I just put a little bit on my eyes, but I also like to bring it down. Instead of doing the full triangle, because that's a lot of product, this is just kind of my little method. And then I put a little bit on the outer corners of my eye. So I like that this is thick enough to give me coverage, but it is not so thick that it will make me look cakey. I do have a lot of acne scars, so that's where I will put the concealer. You can also use your fingers, but I like to use a very light hand and I feel like that's what makes it really natural. So instead of like pushing the concealer in, I'm just lightly tapping it. This is the one part of my routine that I take my time with, so I feel like it really makes a difference. Okay, now onto my eyebrows. I first go in with a little spoolie. So this is from the Style Nanda store. This is the brow pencil with cushion. So here on this end, there is a sponge. I really love using this just as a base first to map out my eyebrows. As you can see, with just a little bit of the eyeshadow, my brows are already forming and it's starting to look like I have a little something something there. I'm gonna go in with a brow pencil. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. I've been using this since high school school. So I start building out the eyebrow from the bottom and I'm sort of just flicking it on. That makes it look the most natural and hair-like. And then I'll just go in with the spoolie and brush it up. So whatever product is already on my eyebrows, that is slowly getting feathered upwards instead of me going in with like a harsh line. Next step, I'm going in with my brow gel. So I first just put a little of it in the front of my brows. And I'll do the other side. And this just makes a really subtle difference. Do you also have a favored side of your face? I prefer the left side of my face. So my left eye is just a little more lifted. And my left boob is bigger too. Just everything on the left side is just a little more. Mm. All right, next up, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eyeshadow. I think I wanna do something shimmery today. I'm using the Physicians Formula. This one is the Tropical Days, and I love warm tones, so this palette I especially love. It has shimmery shades, it has more of the warm tone and red shades. All right, don't mind my knee. This is just more comfortable for me to sit in. I think I'm gonna go in with this one today. 
it just blends so nicely and then i'm gonna go in with a little bit of this shade i like how shimmery it looks with my mono lids it's seriously a love-hate relationship because some days i really appreciate her and i think she's really cute really shows off my asian features but some days i wake up and it's all puffy today's one of those good days and i'm really loving how this shimmer shadow is looking. And then I'm just gonna go in to my waterline. I think I will play around with this one. And then I'm gonna go in with that shimmer pinky shade again. I love highlighting my inner corners. Doesn't matter if I'm just going to the grocery store, I'm gonna put shimmer in my inner corners. This really helps brighten up the eye. All right, now I'm just gonna curl my lashes. This is the Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara, super waterproof. If you have really thin eyelashes like I do, a good trick is to tight line. So I'm going in with this Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil in the shade Demolition, which is like a dark grayish brown. onto my favorite part. I feel like doing my cheeks is really what ties everything together and really makes this look truly glowy. I'm gonna go in with my palette with Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Collection. So just like the eyeshadow, this is buttery smooth and I've said this so many times, it's because there are three different butters in it. There's Muru Muru Butter, Tukuma Butter, and Kupu Asu Butter. And these three butters put together is just a dream. I've never had another blush or bronzer highlighter that feels as smooth as this. It just glides right on and the colors are super cute. And since we're transitioning into fall, I think I wanna mix the two blushes together and get a more kind of like muted pinky peachy type of look. If you're curious where you can get this palette, you can find it in Target if you're in the US. And if you're in Canada, you can find it at Shoppers Drug Mart, but it's not in every single store. So I would definitely recommend calling your Target ahead of time to check if they have it. I'm gonna go in and bronze my face first. That's usually my first step. I'm gonna go in with Sunset Bronzer. I'm gonna take an angled brush like this. And a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just gonna first kind of tap it in, as you can see. You really just need a tiny bit of it. And then we're just gonna leave it like that. <laughs> just kidding, so we're gonna blend it out. I feel like one of these palettes will last you at least two years because you barely use any of it. And then I also like to take it up a little bit to my forehead. And some days I just wear the bronzer if I'm just feeling like a more neutral look. Also, it doesn't have to be perfect at this point because I'm gonna go in with a clean brush and just really blend everything out. Now I'm gonna mix the two blushes. I'm gonna use Apricot and Wildflower. Just gonna dip it in both, kind of mix the two. All right, now I'm gonna place it here on the apples of my cheek. And then I just like to take a little bit of it onto my nose. And now this is where I will go in with a clean brush with no product on it and I'm going to blend it out just so that it doesn't look so harsh. And lastly, I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. I'm gonna take Golden Hour. The entire palette is named after things that I really love or kind of more of a feeling that I love. So Whimsical up here is one of my cooler toned uh, highlighters. And down here we have Golden Hour, which is my favorite time of day. And then Apricot, which is just a really cute fruit. So that's apricot. And then this one is wildflower, which you all know, I love me some wildflowers. And I'm just gonna go in with golden hour. I'm going to lightly fan this in to the high points of my cheeks. And oh, I just love how gorgeous that makes my skin look. It just instantly, it's like, boom. Ah, you really see a difference. Like this side is more flat, which is cute too, but this side is like, oh. Mm. And then I also like to take it onto the tip of my nose. I'm gonna take a brush with nothing on it and blend it out so everything 
seamlessly blends together. If you have oily skin like I do, this is a step that I like to do to finish everything off. This is Hourglass Mineral Veil. This is the area that I produce a lot of oil. I also like to go underneath the eye to really set the concealer. On this side, I still have the glow from the highlighter, but I'm not looking as wet and dewy. If that's what you prefer, go for it. But I like to kind of mattify it a little bit just because I have really oily skin. Um, and then over on this side, it's definitely more glowy and juicy. But with my skin throughout the day, it starts to get a little oily and then I kind of gain this glow back. But if I don't start with at least mattifying a little bit, then by the end of the day or by midday, then I'm looking a little too oily than I prefer. To finish off the entire look, I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna go in with Glossy A and I have the shade cake. So I'm just doing this motion and that's it. This is a Bare Minerals concealer. You can use any concealer you want. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger. Take it onto the bottom here. Oh, that actually might be a little too much. And then a little bit on top. And then I just blend out the bottom. I love how that gives it a bit of a gradient so that my lips aren't the center focus. I wanna go with this one today since it has more of a peachy look. I don't like to put it on my entire lip because I don't want it to look too glossy. All right, so that wraps up my everyday makeup look. I hope this answered your questions in case you've been wondering how I've been doing my makeup every day. I will leave all the products that I use in the description box below. If you would like to check out my palette with Physicians Formula, again, you can find it at Shoppers Drug Mart if you're in Canada, or you can find it at Target, but definitely call your store ahead of time to make sure that they do have it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.